this tutorial today, I'm using the Too Faced Tutti Fruity Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette and I'm starting off with this mauve pink shade and I'm going to use a big fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to blend that in my transition space on my eyelid. Next, I'm going in with this bright purple berry color and I am going to use that on a more small fluffy brush and I'm going to focus that on my outer corner and my crease. Alright, now I'm going to take this black brush purple color and I'm going to use a super tiny blending brush I'm gonna blend that right in the outer V and I'm going to take that onto the lower part of my eyelid it's a little messy now but it's gonna come together I promise and I'm taking this shimmery purple shade I'm gonna apply that to my lid Gonna be honest with you, this wasn't my favorite palette. I was a little disappointed by it because this purple color, it's very sheer and when I used a blending brush, the color blended away and you'll see that in a second. But I had to keep really layering this color on, which is very disappointing because usually with shimmer shades, I don't have too much issues, but as you can see, it just blended away. So this definitely isn't one of Too Faced's best products. I can't lie, I'm so disappointed to admit that. But now I'm taking this flat cream color. It has a little bit of a sheen to it and that's what I'm going to put to highlight and set underneath my brow bones. Next, I'm taking this really pretty light pink shimmer color. Really love this color and I use that as my inner corner highlight. Alright, so I added some glue and this really beautiful glitter on my lid. I will put the color of this in the description box because it just slipped my mind. Now we're on to the face. I'm starting off, of course, with the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. And also from the 2D Fruity Collection, I'm using the Too Faced Do You Foundation. I really do enjoy this foundation. So even though I don't like the eyeshadow palette, I love this foundation and it smells like cantaloupe. I'm using the Sigma F80 brush as well to blend that into my skin. For concealer, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape. I use two different colors, one that's more close to my skin tone and one that's really light for the super inner corner. And I use a sponge, of course, to blend that out. For this tutorial today, I'm using the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Super cheap, and I'm just basically setting my entire face with this. And back to this delicious smelling palette, I am taking this bridal this brighter purple color wow excuse me and I'm just running that right along my lower lash line then I am taking the black color and I'm just going to using that same small brush put that in the very outer parts of my lower lash line for that definition and to also just kind of balance out that darkness that I did put on my outer corner earlier.
I'm using my Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer, aka the best bronzer in the world. This is the Morphe Celebutant Bronzer. I'm just taking that matte bronzer shade and I'm going to use that to really give some depth to my face. And this is me just continuing to shape and give depth to my chubby cheeks. I'm using this beautiful ambient lighting blush from Hourglass. This has been one of my favorites recently and I just think it really complemented this look super well. And I'm using the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights on the Cusp highlighter. I started off with my fingers but I found that it works better with a sponge. I always kind of change between the two. I like applying them both ways. I'm just spraying my face with some MAC Fix Plus to blend and melt everything in. And now I'm using the new Marc Jacobs Glitter Highliner. This is in the shade, I believe it's Bejeweled, but it's the blue glitter eyeliner. I've been also really loving this lately. It's been one of my favorites. And I just thought the blue was a nice change than the typical black or white that I do. And I'm just prepping my eyelashes with mascara for the Morphe eyelashes and go on and fake it. I completely missed the application part, but yeah, here's what they look like. Go on. For lips, I'm using the ColourPop Kathleen Lights lipstick in, oh my gosh, what is it? Scorpio Moon. Scorpio Moon. Yep. I thought it looked really good with this look, and I'm done after this, so yeah. <laughs> 